This you conference will now be recorded. I forgot I, what democratic men. Democracy is a democracy. Democratic regime is a kind of regime. Everyone is equal in terms of their rights, human mm. rights. Is, okay. Uh, let's say every everyone, uh, regardless their ethnicity, their religion, they are equal. The state is ruled by the parliament. Everyone has a right to uh to be represented in the in the state okay or to represent the people so equal the people are equal in terms of their rights okay Jair, how are you i'm good okay i'm also good let's start our lesson but just tell we were talking about um, azerbaijan democratic republic why because Yesterday was the uh, Independence Day for Azerbaijan, uh, 28th May, 28th of May, uh, was the uh, Independence Day of Azerbaijan, it's, uh, the first independent, not first independent, the first democratic republic of Azerbaijan was founded in 1918, uh, 28th May, okay? So, however, we it only existed two years, very close to the two years, not exactly two years, but one year and 11 months yes unfortunately it was occupied by russia then we lived under the russian occupation again 70 years uh, 71 years then again we got independence from the russia uh, i mean that soviet empire soviet yeah, state so so did you understand what is the importance of 28 may in azerbaijan history why we celebrate 28 may because it's uh, the uh, National Independence Day for yes. Azerbaijan. Yes, it it has very it has great importance for us. Why? Because it was the independence of Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan nation from the Russian occupation. We uh, we protested, we refused to live under the Russian occupation, and we created our own state, independent state, in 1918. Yes, 28 May. If you remember from the previous lessons, Azerbaijan was under the Russian occupation. However, to after the, the during the First World War, Azerbaijan and uh, Georgia, uh, as well as Armenians, they the, these three states were formed in the Caucasian 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 region. Uh, so we realize that uh, without independence, uh, we cannot have. Uh, we cannot, uh, we could not have our rights. Uh, we, we needed to we get independence to live uh, better. And uh, under the Russian occupation, they just restricted our rights, limited our uh, so uh, rights, let's say. That's why uh, we became independent. So we also talked about Azerbaijan, how Azerbaijan representatives, they they went to the Paris Peace Conference and they were trying to get uh, to, to be recognized as an independent state by the Western countries. Which country was first recognized as Azerbaijan's independence? Do you remember? It was a Great Britain. Yes, Great Britain. So because the Prime Minister of Great Britain, Lord George, he first talked about the possibility of recognition of Azerbaijan's independence. The already in 1920, Azerbaijan was recognized as an independent state. So it was recognized as an independent state, not the part of Russian Empire. However, as I mentioned before, Russia reoccupied Azerbaijan uh, after a few months. So uh, keep in your mind, please don't forget, uh, Azerbaijan, first independent state, or uh, first, uh, first Azerbaijan Democratic Republic only existed uh, one year and 11 months, okay? Don't forget. So whenever you are asked question, can you please talk about uh, Azerbaijan Democratic Republic? Why it was called Democratic Republic? Because it because it was ruled by their democratic principles. Am I right? For example, what elements do you remember making Azerbaijan Democratic Republic? Uh, everyone could vote, and like even yeah. uh, like other countries could even vote. Yes. Like... Uh, if you remember the, the, the statement of independence of Azerbaijan Democratic Republic was talking about that equal rights of the people in Azerbaijan, regardless of their ethnicity, 
regardless of their uh, religion, yes. We also had parliament. All people had right to be represented in this parliament, regardless of their ethnicity, even Armenians, even Russians, they had right to uh, to participate in our Azerbaijan parliament. Yes, so we also said that we want to build good relations with our neighbors in the, in the statement of independence, okay? Farid, Babet, and Afshin, how are you guys? Very good, thanks. How are you? Okay. I am fine, thank you. Uh, do you remember the yesterday was what 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 day was it in Azerbaijan yesterday? Do you remember that? Twenty eighth May, twenty eighth May, nineteen eighteen. No. Azerbaijan's Independence Day, the Azerbaijan Republican Day. First Azerbaijan Democratic Republic was founded in nineteen eighteen. Uh, approximately 100 years ago, we founded the first democratic republic in Azerbaijan. We got independence from the Russia and we created our own independent state. What time? 1918, May 28. Okay, don't forget it. Okay. 1918, okay. uh, 1918, 28 May, first democratic republic. Republic. Okay, so as you know, later it was also occupied by Russia again. And so we, we again fell under the Russian occupation. Unfortunately, we lived uh, seven, 71 years again under the Russian occupation, Soviet Empire. Okay, and uh, okay, but uh, if I'm not mistaken, we were talking about uh, Azerbaijan's participation in the Second World War last week. However, internet connection interrupted our lesson, yes? The bad internet connection. So I want to return back so be, to give you a brief information about Azerbaijan's in participation in the first Second World War and try to understand uh, what extent did Azerbaijan play important role in the Second World War, how we played important role in the victory of Soviet Union or was it Germany, Nazi Germany, yeah? Uh, but before that I would like to watch video with you let me to share. That's one of the Azerbaijan students um, prepared presentation about Second World War and from the 11th grade, uh, Baku ADS school from the Baku. Uh, let, let's watch together and uh, try to pick up the key points about the Azerbaijan's participation in Second World War. Yes, I will ask you questions from you. Can you please watch video? So just four minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Hello, everyone. My name is Abidjan Sarjagan from a world two, and this is my step project. I'm going to talk about. Guys, are you watching? Yes. Ah, okay, good. What about the rest of class? Who are connected yes. with the oil? Ah, okay, good.
We're done. Our world can recover. I finished watching it. I, I couldn't understand because it was going too far. She was speaking too far. So it, so you, you can use subtitles. Subtitle, you can use subtitle. I know it is, uh, speak, uh, it's, uh, he's speaking, she, she actually, she's speaking very fast, but uh, I think the subtitles can be helpful. Uh, And, and just you don't need to understand each point, but try to understand general picture of the presentation. Okay. I watched it all, and I understand a, a little bit, no, not the whole thing, a little bit. Now, ah, okay. So, for example, the, what what is the main thing she is talking in the presentation? Azerbaijan's role in the Second World War. Yes. Uh, she's talking about yes. oil. Yeah. Importance of oil. Of yeah. yeah. Uh, could could Soviet Union, I mean the USSR, could could gain uh, could won win victory in the war without Azerbaijan oil? Because Azerbaijan provided seventy percent of the oil. Yes, the all machines, all cars, military military vehicles, all uh, uh, how can I say uh, was was generated by means of oil. Without oil, they couldn't. Yes. Even Soviet Union had, uh, if let's say, Soviet Union had a great number of military vehicles and equipment. Without oil, they uh, it was it was useful. Yes, am I right? Can you repeat that, please? Yeah. Uh, the, even Soviet Union, I mean the USSR, which Azerbaijan was a part of the USSR at that time, yes, even they could have a huge amount of military vehicles, vehicles and uh, equipments. Without Azerbaijan oil, they they were not usable, yes, because why, Ayhan? Because all machines, all cars, vehicles, all machines and like um, cars, use type, they they all need um, oil. oil, yes. Azerbaijan yes. had the oil. Yeah, Azerbaijan had oil. How how much percentage of the oil did Azerbaijan provide for the USSR? Do you remember? Uh, can, you, can you say that question again? Uh, my question is, how much percentage of oil uh, came from the Azerbaijan? She said, um, she said that Azerbaijan had like 25 million tons of oil. Yeah, but he said, or he also, she also said that 70%. Azerbaijan provided 70%, yes, 70% of oil was provided by Azerbaijan. That's why Azerbaijan had very, uh, Azerbaijan was very important for United, yeah, USSR, yes, Soviet Union, which Azerbaijan was a part of that. Azerbaijan was under the occupation of the USSR at that time. Oh, okay. But why it was important for Germany, the same reason, from the same reason, yes, Germany, Adolf Hitler, Nazi Germany was trying to get Azerbaijan. Why? Because of its oil. Because oil was the key point which could could decide the fate of the war. Okay? Decide the outcomes of the war. So because of the oil, I think the Russia won over the Germany during the Second World War. It was one of the reasons. It was not the only reason, but it was one of the reasons why Germany was defeated and lost the war. Am I right, Farid? Yes. Okay. So what what else can you tell me? Interesting point from the video or presentation of the student from the Azerbaijan. He was, that, she, she was um, talking about the tech. She was talking about that, the tech. Um, Adolf Hitler took the best part buckle, and then um, when World War Two started, they wanted to like um, bomb buckle. Yes. Have you have you seen cake prepared by the uh, Germany?
German uh, leaderships, mm -hmm. let's say, prepared to cake for uh, Hitler's birthday, yes, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. they had prepared cake for the Hitler's birthday, and uh, on the cake there was a picture of Baku and the uh, oil wells of Baku, the Caspian Sea, well, yes, have you seen this photo, let me to show. Um, I'm not sure <laughs> All I saw was, um, well, at school, we, for topic, we're learning um, about uh, World War II and, like, Germany. So all I know is Germany um, had, like, a cake of um, other pajamas. Yes, this one, look, Hitler and uh, his oh, uh, team members. Hitler and his, it's Molotov, yes, this one. Why Azerbaijan was important for the Germany? It, even Hitler had planned to occupy Baku because of this oil. Yes, they even mm -hmm. um, they even um, had prepared cake for Hitler's birthday, and on that cake there was a depiction of uh, of uh, Baku and oil fields of Baku, Caspian Sea. Yes. Yep. So it shows how important was Baku was important for the Germany. They were preparing to occupy Baku. Uh, they so, but uh, it was prevented by he, uh, USSR. They couldn't occupy Baku, although they re had reached Baku very close. Look, this map shows clearly uh, the green color shows that Germany. They had been um, come to the took very close to the Baku. The green color here is Azerbaijan. Yes, uh, the green color shows the Germany. I can't hear. He's not on the the call. Yeah. Yeah. The organizer had to leave because he was having um technical difficulties. Oh. He left his home. He left his room. I'm in. Did you like, see the video that they put on that they put all over Azerbaijan about the Azerbaijan lessons? Yes. Yeah, we were all in it for some reason. We can't hear anything. Guys, do you hear me? Guys, do you hear yeah. me? This yep. not because, uh, I just, it's not because of internet connection, but uh, just I, I charge my battery again. That's why. So my laptop turned off. That's why suddenly. I... Okay, let's oh, continue. That uh, happened with um, our laptop today. It's yes. like a coincidence. Guys, okay. Uh, so that's why uh, general, generally, Azerbaijan was important for both sides. That's why um, from the beginning of war, Hitler was trying to capture Baku for its oil. The 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 side in the war who had oil, uh, they could win war. That's why it was important. So that not only for the oil, but Azerbaijan was also important for the USSR. Azerbaijan gave 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 a lots of lots of contribution to the war. For example, 
in the last lesson we talked about Azerbaijani scientists, Yusuf Mamadaliev, who had prepared a project for preparing the Molotov cocktail, yes. Do you know what's a Molotov cocktail? Have we discussed it? Yeah. Yeah, you know, it is a kind of weapon is usually it's the first the, time used. Yes. It's the picture of the bottle. It's a Molotov, it's called. And is that a paper and then fire? Fire. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's um, what um, okay. holds the fire. Yeah, and just to say, and also our yeah. Molotovs, um, the, were of were they the olden times bombs? I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. You, if you have played, if you have played games such as Call of Call of Duty, or if I'm not mistaken, you can see yeah. this yeah. paper. It was, it was widely used during the first uh, Second World War, guys. It was kind of bomb and uh, kind of bomb so that used it's for like export me, but yeah for fire. yeah so okay. you if i'm not mistaken you are what you is... are putting you are putting oil into the bottle and uh, set a fire and then suddenly ex explode and uh, something like that i don't i, I have an experience but <laughs> from the videos uh, i can understand how it functions actually Okay, so you see, Mehmet Aliyev first uh, gave the idea how to prepare Molotov cocktail. But unfortunately, this is not called with the name of Yusuf Mehmet Aliyev. As you see, it is called Molotov, yes? Molotov was a Russian scientist. He most probably, yeah. wrote, he most probably wrote the idea from the Yusuf Mehmet Aliyev, but they, they never call, they never, the invention was mentioned. Um, I just want to tell, ask you something. Yes. Was the Molotov cocktail the first Molotov ever made? I think yes. I think yes, because you see it's called Molotov, yes. yes. Have you seen in the pre previous wars, for example, First World War? If I'm not mistaken, no. They never used them. Um, like first used in during the Second World War. So for Azerbaijan also, guys, um, for example, Azerbaijan scientists uh, also you see, Mehmed Ali also uh, found new ways how to obtain uh, jet fuel. Jet fuel. Do you know what's a jet fuel? For military airplanes, high high level, high quality of fuel for military airplanes. Yes. And uh, you know, it is uh, also important during the war, airplanes. If you have a superiority or advantage on the air, uh, air defense, you can protect yourself easily. That's why. So, Soviet Union, heroes of Soviet Union. Whenever that said, the one who Azerbaijan. I was going to say about something about the Molotovs. What? Um, about the Molotovs. I want to say something about them. Did only um, the militaries use them, or did like this? Or like did the others use them like cliches or only or is it only military? Of course, only for military purposes. How can uh, how can people use for other purposes? It's not possible because me, it's um, kind of sort of use it to um, find bad people if they're in a building and they need to knock it down. Or just it. Yeah, maybe as a, as a terrorism. Yes, maybe terrorist attacks. Okay. But today we don't use it actually. It's usually used in protests, street protests, for example, but not widespread. It's not widespread. Yeah, we now use um, bombs now instead of Molotovs because the Molotovs were the no, oldest. Can, no, they might still be able to use Molotovs. But yeah, but they usually now use grenades. No. Like, yeah. Huh? No, Molotovs are still cool in this time. But I said they mostly <laughs> use bombs. That's, yes, it's, it was kind of bomb during the war. Okay, uh, the oh, people who showed courage during the war, guys, the people from Azerbaijan who showed the courage, great courage during the war, they were awarded with their uh, title, Hero of the Soviet Union. Yes, national hero, because they showed the sh huge courage during the war. One of those guys in Azerbaijan was the first one was Israfil Mehmedov, for example, guys who uh, protest who defended 
the lands of Soviet Union from the Nazi Germany, and that's why he was awarded with the title of Hero of Soviet Union. Do you understand what does it mean, Hero of Soviet Union? National hero, for example. Does that mean like um person who like helped um in like Soviet Union to help? Like, yes, his contribution win. to the war was a great. He even uh, sacrificed his life for the defending the lands of the Soviet Union. That's why he was granted with the title of Soviet Union, hero of the Soviet Union. He showed a great, great courage. He showed bravery during the war. That's why. So don't forget, he was the first person and showed a, so he was awarded, awarded by the title of Soviet Union, hero of the Soviet Union, and Israfil Mendanov. But he's not well known, actually. He's not prominent. The most prominent one is Haza Aslanov. Have you heard, heard, heard about him, Haza Aslanov? Malach, have you heard about him? There is a metro station in Baku. No, I haven't no. heard of it. No. Does this no, that man actually kind of looks like you? Yeah. Hazar Slano, for example, he was a major general uh, of the tank forces, and he was a uh, specialist in artillery. Uh, yes, uh, he showed unprecedented heroism during the war in the battlefields. That's why he was twice, actually twice, not once, but twice awarded with the title of Hero of Soviet Union. He was a tank brigade. Um, he was the commander of general, major general, commander of the tank brigade. Uh, do you understand what I mean? Artillery, heavy artillery. He was the commander of the tank brigade. What I does artillery mean? Artillery means that heavy weapon, for example, to bomb the, the like, enemy's territories. Heavy weapon. heavy weapon, as in like bombs and stuff, like yes, tanks. Yes, used bombs. for bombing. Yes, you're right. Uh, heavy artillery. Okay, uh, tank. Do you know what's a tank? Yes, tank. Um, it's also, for example, heavy artillery. So it's used for bombing the territories of the enemy. Mm, but uh, today it's not considered to be the, the modern weapon. But in the during the war, Second World War, it was one of the advanced weapons, of course. Um, Hazar Slanov, guys, uh, he was awarded two times with the title of Hero of Soviet Union. So he's not famous in Azerbaijan, but everyone knows his name in the post-Soviet country. I mean, that, uh, in, the, in for example, in Georgia, in Armenia, in Central Asia, in Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, so all, all the country, in all these countries, he is a very famous person because of his contribution to the war. Okay? So, for example, um, this person, Yusuf Sadegov, uh, he also showed great courage, bravery in the war. He even he had even uh, reached to the Berlin. He participated in the capturing of the city, the capital city of Germany, Berlin. Okay, he put the flag of the Soviet Union on the on the wall of uh, Reichstag. Reichstag is the parliament of the Germany, okay? Yusuf Sadikov. Did you understand? So guys, do you know what's the partisan movement? What is the partisan movement, guerrilla movement? Yes, yes, do you have any question? Go on, please. Afshin or Babich? It was me, yeah. and plus, um, on the one that Bobek said looks like you, um, it said that he was to, um, awarded twice as um, so Soviet as a Soviet hero. Union hero. But the one before this one, it also said that it was that he was um, awarded Soviet Union hero. So. Hero. So can that be one the more Soviet heroes? So that means um, they were Soviet um, Union heroes. Oh, so there's more it, than he was one. Once, uh, he was once first, first he was awarded by the Soviet Union hero in the 1941 when he uh, defeated the enemy's army in the Moscow battle. Yes, later he also participated in another battle it, which happened in 1944. In different years, he was awarded with the title of hero of the Soviet Union you know, two times 
in different battles. Yes, guys, you see, uh, there was uh, he he is one of the unique person awarded with two times by the hero of the Soviet Union. Why? You see, actually, it it is not normal. One person is awarded two times. It shows that how uh, brave person was he. Okay. Mm. Okay. Do you know what's the partisan or the guerrilla movement? Jail, do you know what's the guerrilla guerrilla movement or partisan movement? No, not really. Not really. Okay, let me to explain. So you know, all Azerbaijanis not only defended their homelands of the defended the Soviet Union, but they also participated in different countries, fought against their Nazi Germany in different countries. For example, one of them was Mehdi Zinzada. He's also known as a Mikhailo. He, for example, participated in Czechoslovakia, Serbia, Slovakia, and European countries, yes? Do you understand me? Czech, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Yugoslavia. Have you ever heard about it? Yugoslavia? Yugoslavia was a huge state, included modern Czechia, so modern, modern Serbia, Slovakia, Croatia, uh, Bosnia, yes? Uh, these countries, yes. He participated in those countries and uh, showed great courage and uh, defeated German armies in those countries. And his contribute, he, he contributed to the independence movement of those countries against Nazi Germany. Okay. Well, can you please read this part? Azerbaijan is also fought against the fascist movement in European countries. Azerbaijan took an active part in the guerrilla movement anti-fascist movements. Gorilla means, guys, uh, you organize a small group of people and fight against the huge armies and suddenly attack them, organize the uh, attacks and operations and you organize operations and attacks to the enemy. You suddenly attack. Your, your, your group is not huge, but they just consist of small people, a small amount of people, but you suddenly attack your enemy and uh, an unexpected time, yes? And that's why uh, it is effective way of fighting against your enemy. Did you understand me? What's the guerrilla movement? Can you please explain me? Or can you please type on the Google and explain to me what is a guerrilla movement? It's your task. Type on Google, what's the guerrilla movement? Gorilla or partisan? Partisan movement. Did you understand me? Can you please type in the Google? What does it mean, gorilla movement? Could anyone find anything from the internet? Um, it said here, um, it said here, mm -hmm. um, an organized effort by someone portion of the civil population of a country to resist the legal to resist a legally established government or an occupying power and to disrupt yeah. civil order and stability. Dictionary the of military and associated terms. Yeah, let's say, so you, you, you want to defeat your enemy, yes, but you don't have enough force, enough, uh, uh, enough power to fight against your enemy because it's huge. It, it has huge army, yes. So, the guerrilla or the partisan movement is that, that you uh, you collect a small amount of people around you and uh, fight against your enemy by different ways. Not directly war, yes. You suddenly attack your enemy. You organize terrorist attacks your enemy against your enemy. 
So, and you usually attack your enemy in unexpected times, unexpected times that your enemy does not expect your attack. Yes, suddenly you put bomb on their, let's say, uh, location, let's say, yes, and suddenly attacks them, yes, and kill them. So it's effective way if you don't have uh, enough power to fight against your enemy. With the small number of people, fight against a huge enemy. Yes, did you get but what, my, what is my point? An organized effort by some portion of the civil population of the country, yes, it can be civil population of the country, the normal people, they realize that in order to defend the land, it's the only way to fight against your enemy. Yes. Uh, and uh, a country to resist the legal established government occupying. So, so for example, Mikhailo or Mekdil uh, Senzada, he he helped uh, people in Yugoslavia to fight against the Nazi Germany. They were fighting for their independence from the Germany, yes, because Germany had occupied their territories. Uh, Mikhailo, uh, there is a movie in Azerbaijan language, but you, um, you don't know Azerbaijan language most probably very well. I would recommend you to watch a video of the movie Uzak Sahillerde. Okay, maybe you can watch it with your parents. Would you like to watch it? Uzak Sahillerde. It's, let's say, just want to give this one as a homework. Would you like to watch the movie? It's about Make to Say Inside, partisan movement, a guerrilla movement. You will understand what is the guerrilla movement. Okay, for example, uh, Ahmadiyya Jabrayev, another one who fought in France against the Germany. And uh, even because of hero, uh, because of his braveness, and uh, he was uh, awarded by the France, uh, highest military award in France, uh, Legion of Honor. Uh, Ahmadiyya Jabrayev again, guys, again, guys. So he participated in the independence movement of France against the Germany. Did you get? Yes or no? He was called uh, Armid Michel, Harko, and uh, he even uh, was friend, if I'm not mistaken, with Charles de Gaulle, the France president at that time. Okay, that's all. You should be careful about that because uh, those two people, I mean that uh, Mikhailo and uh, Ahmed Yejabrailov, they fought against the Germany in European countries, not in Azerbaijan or so uh, on the Soviet Union. Okay, let's do a quiz about that and maybe it will be more clear to you. And uh, can you please move to the Google Classroom? Can you please move to the Google Classroom and take the file? In Google Classroom, I have shared the file, uh, the presentation, both presentation and um, the quiz. You can use presentation to answer questions. It's up to you. If you want, you can use. And Could you reach presentation and the quiz? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Start to do it, please.
Really. Um, we're doing it all together, us three. It's it's not a problem. You can do. <gasps> okay. You can also use presentation, guys. I'm done. Okay, good. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's uh, wait for just a few minutes. What's number five? Number five. Let me yeah. check it. Number five. Uh, I just learned of um, the best sound is always between one and six. Was the journey? It was the brilliant kick. The passion was of great importance. The manager was a part of the work. Was the one was it? A maybe was the first participant no not a actually let me to find it commander a tank brigade. d d he was a commander of the tank brigade he was twice awarded with the title of hero of soviet union because okay. if you remember i told you he was two times awarded with the title of hero of soviet union he was a tank brigade commander of the tank brigade what about number one that's the um, Number one, what? Molotov cocktail, you mean? Yes. It's easy, but you can find it. Look, Azerbaijan, Azerbaijani scientist. Oh, yeah. He was yes. um, a Azerbaijan scientist and chemist. Yes, chemist. You are right. Okay, let's answer questions. Uh, who would like to start? Jared, can you please start? Do I start with number one or do I start with A? Yeah, A, A. Start from the letters, not numbers. Okay. Uh, 
Let me get it back up. Uh, mm -hmm. Hang on a second. Uh, uh, there. Um, so, is it number four? Four? Let me find it. Yes, you is are right. It was the first participant in the war from Azerbaijan. Uh, yes, you are right. Okay, Babach, what about you? B. Ahmadiyya Jabrailov received the highest military award in where? Oh. There is no answer. Uh, are you talking about um, B for Barbek? Barbek should do number Bar B. Yes, Barbek, number B. B is B, number B, nine. B. Nine, France, yes, Ahmed Jabrailo received the highest military award in France. Was yep. was awarded with the title of national hero of this France. Why? Because he contributed to the liberation of France territories from the occupation of Germany. Yes. Yeah. It was one of the highest military rank given to him during the war. You know, oh. France had been occupied by the Germany at the beginning of war, yes. The capital city of Paris was under the occupation of Germany. The army of Michel. Yes? I did not know. Ahmadiyya Jabrailov, which is also known, who is also known as the army of Michel, Kharkov, who uh, gave a contribution to the independence movement of the France. Okay, and don't forget, because um, it is the case event that we should proud of our uh, Azerbaijan to be our uh, Azerbaijan because um, you know uh, so we not only defended ourselves from the German occupation we also helped European people to defend themselves okay so what about the sea Melech let us see would C be number eight a eight Eight. No, the, the, it says that the occupation of Azerbaijan had great importance for Germany. Why? Because of because of its oil oil reserves. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Sir. I'm very sorry, yeah. sorry. I'm confused. You are right. Oil reserves. <laughs> and T. T. Uh, Afshin or Babesh? Who answered the question? Um, Barbeck's already done. One. Yeah, it's true. Yes, actually, D. D, he so was the first D, commander. So D is five. Fazi Aslan, yes, he was the commander of tank brigade. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, like that. His, we kn knew that because there's a, um, like, um, what's it called again? Oh, there's a hint in it. Um, he was twice awarded the title Hero of Soviet yes. Union. Yeah. No one else was um, titled Hero of Soviet Union yeah, twice so other than um, Hazi Aslanov. Oh, no, really you know, there is a metro station uh, carrying his, bearing his name in Baku. Okay. Also, he was he's from the Lajaran. And uh, even whenever we celebrate uh, the victory day over the Germany each year, uh 9th may we usually the president of azerbaijan usually uh goes to and goes and put uh, the flowers in front of the statue of the hazaslanov in baku he's a very famous person and uh, military person let's say okay uh when we say the second world war in azerbaijan he's one of the most important person comes to our mind hazaslanov Okay, so question number, not question number, but E. Who would like to answer that, Parit or Aichan? Aichan, so Aichan, can you please answer this question? His nickname I was Mikhail. I, I, I haven't done E. Why? It's easy. It His was nickname is Mahalo, it's number seven. Yeah. Mahidi Hussein. Yes, Mahidi Hussein Zada, Hussein. yes. He participated in the he war against Germany the guerrilla movement in Yugoslavia, yes. Yugoslavia was a state at that time, uh, which includes modern Serbia, Croatia, Slovakia, and uh, not Slovakia, but um, Bosnia, for example, those countries, yes. 
Okay, good. So question number, not question number, but G. Farid. Uh, um, I see the next Yes. So F is number one, Molotov cocktail, because it's what? the only weapon on what there. What else did he discover during the war? High Who? quality of, high quality of jet fuel, yes. Fuel for mm -hmm. the airplanes. It wasn't only discovery during the war, but also we had also produced a new high quality of fuel for the jets during the war. So Azerbaijan became involved in the Second World War after German after German what? Tell it. Attack on USSR. Yes, USSR. So please don't forget the Second World War did not start with the attack of Germany on USSR. This war started before that. Uh, and that when Germany attacked on the Poland, uh, Western Poland, yes. Then the Hitler was presented in his birthday with with the cake of the region of I uh, sorry um, Babesh with the cake of which was that important for the Germany at that time of the region of Baku and Caspian Sea. Yes, am I right? Yeah, I thought you meant um. We are you talking about a different Barbaic or me Barbaic? No, about you. Who is a different Barbaic? Oh. We have only one Barbaic. I usually but confuse you. Your... Um, um, leader. He lost to the Arabic oh. leader. No, no, I'm talking about mm. <laughs> Barbaic was the military, uh, the national leader of national movement against Arab occupation in uh, 9th century, against Arab occupation. My... Yes. I usually confuse your names, Babaj and Afshin. Yeah, the I just wanna, I just want to say I thought you meant me, Babaj, for a second. Yeah. Okay. So H is uh, Baku, yes, and the last one is he took an active active role in the guerrilla movement against fascist Germany in France. He was Ahmed Gujabrail, yes. Did you understand topic? Yeah. Why Azerbaijan played an important role in the war? How Azerbaijan contributed to the victory of Soviet Union over the Germany? And uh, how much oil did Azerbaijan provide to the USSR? 70% of the oil came from the Azerbaijan, yes? So without Azerbaijan oil, it would be difficult for Soviet Union to defeat the Germany, yes? And what else? <coughs> For example, we learned about this uh, Hazia Slanov two times awarded with this national hero of Soviet Union. And uh, we also learned about the Azerbaijanis, how Azerbaijanis participate in the European countries that helps them to defend themselves against Germany. For example, Mikhailov, Ahmad Jabrailov. Am I right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Do you have any question? No. Wait. Are you sure? Yeah. Not. Yeah. Actually. So, but uh, can we say Azerbaijan was only important for its oil for the Soviet Union, or we had other other uh, contributions? There were other contributions. What, what about? For example, yeah. what do you mean by the other contributions? For contribution? example, uh, the Molotov cocktail was a contribution. Yes, uh, yes discoveries and oil. So for fuel, jet fuel. That in terms of the human resources, Azerbaijan was also important because we gave a lot, lots of um, soldiers to the Soviet Union. Yes, uh, Azerbaijan guys consisted of uh, 3.7 million population at that time, and uh, we sent 700 thousand people to the war. Can you imagine? For example, my my grand 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 uh, father participated in the war, but he didn't came, come back. We don't have information about him, for example. Uh, what happened to him? He died most probably in the war, my grand-grand-grandfather, okay? Do you have any relatives participate in the war, did not come back? Can you please ask you from your parents? Or the, the yeah. 
Yeah, my um, my um, my mum's granddad's brother did pass it. Ah, yes. Ah, good. So, guys, uh, I don't. I'm not sure. Do you understand Azeri language well, or do you have difficulty to understand? Yes, guys. Do you understand Azeri language well, or early? If I recommend you to watch video, uh, which one movie in Azerbaijan language? Can you do? Can you do it with your parents or? It's about Mehdi Hussein Zadeh, I mean that Mikhailo. Anyway, I will share the link. If you if you understand at least um, in some level, so you can watch to it will help you to understand who was Mikhailo, okay? That's all for my from my side for today. Next week, I'll, I'm going to try to explain the uh, the beginning of conflict between Azerbaijan and Armenia, how second uh, how war erupted between Armenia and Azerbaijan, how we went to the conflict. Okay, next week, first and second Karabakh war. Okay, if you don't have any question, that's all for today. Uh, uh, so let's let's meet next week again and please revise my presentation the topic from my presentation okay i have put in google classroom all materials in google classrooms okay, okay. bye Thank bye you. bye bye have a great week have a great week see you next week see you next time bye.